ready, David. You're going to like this. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody's Before you running walk away down, we, we got raised in the same neighborhood oh. in Green Ridge, not far from two of the best little candy shops in the, in the, in the whole country. And I just wanted to let, I, they can't deny me. That's why I wanted them up here. As my mother, oh, Jean Finnegan Biden from Green Ridge would say, please excuse my back when I'm speaking. I apologize. And by the way, you know, one of the best things of all being president of the United States. Thank you. How are you, baby? How old are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> How old on? are you? He's hitting us. Almost double figures. It's almost, oh. we're almost uh, near, we're almost in heaven. We're Pedro, almost in Scranton. Yeah. Pedro, I used to be in the old days a pretty good athlete. And if someone was really big and tough, you say, I wouldn't screw with him if I had a sledgehammer. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> Fetterman's a hell of a guy. A powerful voice for working people. And he's going to make a great United States senator. Mm-hmm. By the way, please sit down. I'm, I'm sorry. Please sit down. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I uh, thank you. 300 people well, look, Trump will have 10,000. When I ran for president, I said I looked at the world the way I looked at it growing up in Scranton, and that wasn't hyperbole. I meant that. If I can inter- I just interject for a moment, my deceased son, Bo, he was the attorney general of the state of right, Delaware. Here we go, dead son story. And what he used to do is go down in the east side, the what called the bucket, highest crime rate in the country. There's a place where I used to, I was the only white guy that worked as a lifeguard down in that area. In the east corn side. Corn pop. And you know where the, you can always tell where the best basketball in the state is and the best basketball in the city is. <laughs> it's racist. Where everybody shows up. Is that, is that soft? Up and bang in is the that semi racist? So get out of the car, damn it, meet these people. I remember going on the east side in Wilmington and one of those old Victorian two, three story apartment here. buildings and going up to see a woman whose name, oh, she's passed away, but won't mention her name now. And stand in that rotund, that that part is stuck out around the building. And she'd say, Joey, I know. I know what's going on. They all plan it downstairs. I can hear them. But I'm afraid to tell anybody. Afraid to tell anybody. Everybody behind the gang. What the hell he's talking about? about And so I got her so that I got a phone number for the local cops. You got to know people. And we beat the NRA. (laughs) We took them on and we beat the NRA straight up. I'm determined to ban assault weapons in this country. I have two shotguns at home. I can't, it's a long story, but I'm not opposed to guns. But I support the Second Amendment, and I support the Second Amendment. But the Second Amendment, as one of the most, one of the most conservative justices in history, Justice Scalia once wrote, like, quote, like most rights, the rights granted by the Second Amendment are not unlimited. Right now, you can't go out and buy an automatic weapon. You can't go out and buy a cannon. And for those brave right-wing Americans who say it's all about keeping America, keeping America's independent and safe, if you want to fight against the country, you need an F-15. You need mm-hmm. something a little more than a gun. I can't. No, I'm not joking. Think about this. Think about the rationale we use. Think about the rationale that's used to provide this. And who are they shooting at? Shooting at these guys behind me. Folks, look. With COVID, what it's impact and how it's impacting us. And on top of that, a child going to school, children see this on television. You know, we're living in a country awash with weapons of war. Weapons that weren't designed to hunt or designed to take on an enemy. That's what they were designed to do. What the hell's the matter with us? <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. Think about it. What are we doing? And by the way, how many? My dad used to love to hunt oh, here we go. In the Poconos no when we lived in Scranton. No, no. no. Trump gets one every How many 10 deer seconds. bear wearing Kevlar vests? Huh? Not a joke. Again, people don't know what he's talking. For about. ten years, mass shootings were down. Ten years in a row since I passed that legislation in 1994 well, he pa- he as a chair, as a senator. There's a lot of states that don't allow you to purchase certain weapons in the state. They just cross the state line and go buy it next door. Bring it across the state line. Keep guns out of you know what the Mexicans are Mexico, which has real problems causing us real problems. You know what their biggest complaint is? Can't we stop the gun, gun gun trafficking across the southern border into Mexico? We can solve more gun crimes if we have the 
someone heading up, which we finally do. And stop three million. This organization is designed to track illegally. this kind of behavior. If you yeah. served your time, you, you shouldn't be designed. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be deprived of being able to. If you served it, you oh shouldn't be God. deprived of being able to get a Pell Grant to go to school. Did any of you think, even as old as I'm, you've ever been in an election where we talk about it's appropriate to use force, political violence in America? The MAGA Republicans in Congress defend the mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th. Uh, yeah, okay. Defend yeah. them. No, we just, want, we just want I sat the down. Uh, Antifa was people in prosecuted. And I sat down for this three-day conference, and I said, America's back. And Macron... President of France turned to me and said, for how long? They made a discussion with Schmidt and all that. I mean, just for how long? And one of them said to me, imagine, Joe, if you turned on the television in Washington, D.C. and saw a mob of a thousand people storming down the hallways of the parliament, breaking down the doors, parliament. trying to overturn an outcome of election. What? And killing several police officers in the meantime. What? Police oh, officers now he's lied. lying. One of the officers said, "How many police it was officers worse than did they kill, Joe?" Experienced Zero. In war in Iraq. There is not a single thing we can not do. Can not a not single do. thing. A double negative. <laughs> we the people. That's how our that's constitution like starts. The, the declaration. We the people. That's who we are. It's as far as he ever. And gets. by the way. No one expects politics to be a patty cake. They sometimes get mean as hell. But the idea you turn on a television and see senior senators and congressmen saying, if such and such happens, there'll be blood in the street. Where the hell are we? Do me a favor. <laughs> Presumptuous me to say that. But think about doing me a favor. Elect that big old boy to be governor. Remember what used to be the criticism of Biden? <laughs> Fetterman's was running? running for Senate, dummy. Biden's too bipartisan. <laughs> Biden has too many Republican friends. Biden is too lost. Biden is too dimensioned out. You know, wow. Biden is too corrupt. The manufactured uh, Biden rallies continue. Uh, there were probably 300 people in the room, and either they're really stupid or they're paid to, or forced to be there by local politicians. Yeah. There was nobody in that crowd. 